it seems that um, people that have some kind of arthrosis or uh, some stiff joints uh, and start to, to take omega-3, they get, uh, get uh, some release, some better in, in, in their joint function. And um, as I told you, omega-3 st stands in a balance to omega-6, and both is essential. And this omega-6 is more, you could call it stiff, and omega-3 is soft, and they are in a balance. So uh, uh, in our Western diet the last um, um, 30 years, when we were so afraid to eat uh, cholesterol, we started to eat plant oils instead. And then the relationship between omega-6 and omega-3 went up to 50 to 1. And that's too much omega-6. So when we now know more about these things and has tried to reduce it to 3 to 1 um, or 5 to 1. So uh, uh, if you have this imbalance that has been seen that you also could get some joint problems. Uh, and uh, this uh, 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 too much omega-6 is also precursor substances to some inflammatory substances. And when we get an infection, we need these inflammatory substances to fight the infection. But if we all the time feed too much, we could get too much of these uh, substances all the time. And that is the theory that too much omega-6 compared to omega-3 is uh, could drive you into some kind of chronic inflammatory state. If you, as I told, if you eat too much omega-6 instead, you get bleeding problems. And that could be dangerous in old age. You could get, uh, you could get brain bleedings. This is a balance.